Hey guys, in today's video I want to talk about Hooper, which received a nerf in you know, the latest balance patch on the hyperspace and on the shadow ball damage. But honestly, Hooper is still one of the, or probably the best support when it comes to, you know, like one of the supports compared to Blissey and Edigos, who are pretty quite good. But Hooper, I think, stands a bit above them right now. Um, I've been playing a lot of trick now after hyperspace got nerfed. And even in solo queue, it still feels absolutely great, especially because Hooper's Unite move is just so insanely strong. It's such a game changer. I think it, it is still probably the strongest Unite in the game, or one of the strongest Unite boosts in the game. And it helps you a lot. For head items, I'm still running Muscle Band, Focus Band, and Body Barrier now. I used to run Choice Specs, but I don't think it makes much sense anymore after the damage nerfs, especially in the trick bit. I don't think I would recommend Choice Specs necessarily too much. Probably Focus Band will just help you much more, especially also because when you're in Hooper Unbound, right, you will get a lot of HP back in case you drop low on HP, since Hooper Unbound gives Hooper a lot of basic or like a lot of more HP. Right, for the early game, you want to try and con combine our Confusion and Astonish. You want to be very aggressive. Hooper is a very, very strong early game character. Since we have Muscle and Focus Band as well, we are quite strong and we just try to get lasses with Astonish or try to combo our Confusion with it. I sadly messed it up here. You will see on, th on this Audino, I will start showing it how you should be doing it and how you can do it. Stealing a berry ray here as well. And I'm just being very aggressive, very annoying. Here we confusion it, and on the second confusion it we astonish. So we do a lot of AOE damage together, or a lot of damage together. And we managed to get the last hit. Now we have trick unlocked. I think you can also consider score shield on this character over over what is it, focus band, just because you have trick and you can give yourself a shield as well and can be very aggressive. But you can see me, I'm just auto taking 24-7, speeding my guy out now. Trick gives a shield on someone. And then when you basic attack, it also shoots a basic attack out from them. And on level 6, when we get Shadow Ball, it also shoot a, shoots out a Shadow Ball. So if you hit two Shadow Balls on someone, you get a stun. That's how Shadow Ball works. It marks someone, and then if you hit proc the mark with damage, either boosted auto attack or an ability, you get a stun. Anyway, you can see me. I'm just, I'm just being very, very aggressive, trying to get it with Astonish as well. Sadly, that do it a bit too early. And yeah, but we do get a kill at least. I just want to trick your allies, and you see, I'm just, I pretty much, I think I've not had a single break on auto-attacking. I'm just auto-attacking, auto-attacking, auto-attacking. It's just so very important. You just keep auto-attacking on this character, and just be very, very aggressive in lane. Yeah. So, Phantom Force as well. I don't think Phantom Force is too good in solo queue. If you play duo or triple queue with a good, like, lane, or, like, someone you can trust, I think Phantom Force can be quite strong. We saw it play playing in the European tournament a lot, where, was it Random Gaming? No, not Random Gaming. I, I Unleashed played... Talon Flame with Phantom Force Hooper. You put Trick on him and he can port back always on the Phantom Force after diving into. It's a quite nice combo you can consider if you play Duke Q. But for straight up solo Q, I think Phantom Force is very lackluster without communication. I would not recommend playing it. Trick Shadow Ball much better, much easier setups or stuns, and quite strong in team fights and early game landing phase as well. So yeah, we just want to reach level 6. Even though Stunch is quite good, obviously Shadow Ball is still a bit better. Um trying to spawn a berry for him. I should probably spawn a berry for him much earlier. There as well. I got to re re remind that you can always spawn berries. There we go. Just stealing one away now. Healing myself a bit. And almost level 6. Hoping that our jungler is going to rotate bot soon. We find another nice astonish on the Blissey. And we managed to manage to take him down. Almost. Sadly not. The only bit of situation is here. But speed ourselves out with trick. Try to dodge the spirit shackle. But sadly our Machamp. We both get hit and our Machamp goes down. So Dread is up. Sadly my team is nowhere to be found. And uh, just waiting for, just waiting a bit for my guy to come here and just trying to get some vision on my opponents. They're not doing it yet, so we're kind of fine. Um, now they start doing it, so I was hoping my Town Flame is hopefully going to move fast. I ping it once. Let's attack here and just hope that he moves to us soon. Or Dryadon also is moving in. And yeah, spawning a berry right now just to get some healing. And Shadow Ball, honestly, Shadow Ball is not the worst dealing as well. So yeah, I just trick him. I do a double Shadow Ball and I barely get it. I was kind of lucky, but you know, we take those. Any day, and we just try to live, try to kill the Blissey maybe as well, which I think I do. Um, I'm keeping my boosted auto tech up here since again, boosted auto tech and Shadow Ball stuns after hitting Shadow Ball. So you saw me not auto taking there, waiting for my Shadow Ball cooldown to come up, then Shadow Balling and then auto taking for the stun on the boosted auto tech because normal auto techs do not stun with Shadow Ball. Gotta keep that in mind. Tower of Fame letting Rotom in our top lane, not the biggest issue, but yeah. Now we just want level 9 and then our Hooper Unbound is where our character is very, very strong at. Also level 10. Level 10 is something you want to aim for and get as fast as possible. Because on level 10, Trick will start healing. The, the, ally, you, the ally you Trick he heals off its own damage and you as well. But obviously it's more important on the ally. Like it's very strong on characters like Ninja, Cinder Ace, Draladon. Characters that just do damage, we heal a lot with it. Get a cheeky 30 score in here, we break the goal. Doesn't really matter much, but uh, yeah. And a nice stuff is done here. There's the double Shadow Ball coming in action. And we just try to hit these on characters as much as we can. 
But yeah, your main trick targets probably should be hyper carries or things that go in. I mean, also like it's very good on my champ because when he goes in on level 10, when I'm level 10, he will start healing a lot as well and start taking a lot of damage. And I can hit easy shadow balls with his trick on him, right? So yeah. Anything I can dive in is very good or any hyper carry. Honestly, trick is good on almost, on almost every character except for very heavy like backline poke characters. Like if you have a check up the Sidui, is Solar Beam Venusaur on those characters they will not do much. But yeah. Try and get out here now. Dread is up in 28 seconds. My Duralan's sadly rocking the wrong direction, but he's walking away from us, so at least we live kinda. And uh, we're just waiting for that to spawn 20 seconds now, so I'm gonna keep my Unite for that. Um, if they go to DP, I will start using it though, so I can port my team in and we can kill them right here. I decide I'm like, okay, if we kill them here, right, I'm just gonna port my entire team in. If we get two, three kills here, this Dread will be ours. So putting the trigger, gladly my entire team ports in. Um, sometimes people don't do that, but yeah, very glad in this scenario. Then we find our Hyperspace Furies. And just stun our opponents. And now we go for Dread. I'm pinging at once, hoping that my team reacts to it. I mean, you just need Dura Dura on it. As long as my Duraladon is on this, we should be fine. So we start doing it now. Again, this is nerfed Duraladon as well. This was played on the new patch. So, but you can see you can still secure Dread quite easily. There we go. Bam. There's the Dragon Poets. And we still get Dread. And now we try to get out. I get solo Gardevoir United, which always feels bad. But our Dra hits a nice Unite. And we maybe turn, turn it around, tricking him up now. You can still look for something. I can hit a Shadow Ball of someone and maybe try and find for a slow. So I'm putting my trick on Talon Flame here, no on Machamp, and actually hit a slow on the Decidrai with the Shadow Ball. But yeah, can't really do much with it. We're quite, at, quite deep right now. Still long to go before Zepdos, but yeah. It's a long way to go before Zepdos. We could try to get level 12 now. Level 12, you get Shadow Ball Plus, which explodes at the end of it, so it's much easier to hit stuns. So it's something you still want to aim for. A super, you want level 10 is the most important thing in Trick Build, but if you get level 12, it would be quite nice. And you should still try to aim for level 12. But yeah, you're not farming much, as you can see. It's it's really played as a complete support now. It's not really a damage dealer. Even though every single Hoopa game I play, I have in very high damage numbers. And yeah, even with this build as well, I end up being... I mean, you see how much I'm auto-taking, right? I'm procking muscle band over and over again. Here, I get a bit cocky. I was like, let's see. I, want, I just wanted to see if I can fight the enemy Decidui. But uh, I actually had no chance. As soon as he had his like, auto-tech stacks up, he actually just crit me a billion times and I'm going to die. It was an experiment. I was quite optimistic of me. And yeah, gladly dying. I mean, dying is just very bad because I give him a 46 score. So it was a huge mistake. As you can see, I also do dumb things sometimes. Just so you guys know that I'm not <laughs> not always perfect. Um, I'm just going to showcase some bad things as well sometimes. I do mistakes. Everyone does, mis everyone does mistakes. All right. Now we just try to farm level 12, taking red buff. Red buff on Hooper is also actually quite nice. You have pretty high basic attack range. And if in Hooper Unbound, right, you have very... It's very strong in Hooper Unbound to have a red buff. Auto text Lord and everything around you. So just trying to get for level 12 right now. Nothing else really matters. We just have to get ready for Zepdos afterwards, which is still 25 seconds away. So not a big deal. Getting this one more Dino, and then we hit level 12 for Shadow Ball Plus. And then we slowly. I always have to be at Zepdos because of Hooper and Bound. In case my team doesn't react to the Zepdos spawning, I can always port my team in. That's why I like Hooper and Solo Q as well. I don't know why I'm doing this crap. This makes no sense. I was like, yeah, this doesn't make any sense to do doing this Corpfish. This is why I like Hoopa and Bound as well. Your teammates will probably port to it. There's a high chance they will port to it. And uh, it just it's it's Hoopa as a way of getting your teammates around the map with Hoopa Unite. So yeah, I'm dropping the port already. Just want to start team fighting. Um, hit a nice stun on the Gardevoir. Blink back a bit because I was a bit scared. I thought maybe Gardevoir instantly unites us. Just running down to the Sidrai, just trying to zone him a bit. Sadly, my Hoopa and Bound didn't really do as much value as I was hoping it would get. And actually, my team is currently dying. So now I just have to buy time. And uh, you will see something very fun happen in a second. So I'm trying to trick, trying to live as much as I can. And uh, Ninth Head says Unite move up. Trying to just live with tricks, tricking my Greninja, giving him a shield, and we live. And now we turn our attention towards Zepdos. I think the Gardevoir might still have Unite up, so you have to be quite careful. I hit, a, I hit a nice stun on him though, but sadly he doesn't die. My Greninja almost dies, but we do get the... Yeah, we trade, we do get Vardava, Greninja dies. And uh, still very intense Zepdos fights right now. We're trying to kill the Blissey, I keep hitting double stuns. But they kind of just respawn right now. Dragon Knight is back. And, but we kill Blissey. And now we should be doing Zepdos. But uh, you will see what my Dralla done does soon. And this is quite... I was quite mad. He walks towards bot lane to score right now. I'm even looking at him. I'm like, I can't believe what he's doing right now. He's like, I'm the solo queue struggle. So now it's just me and Tarn of Flame trying to get Zepdos as much as we can. And uh, sadly, we don't quite get it. The Decidrai Spirit check is snipes that away. Our fly was a bit too early. I can't really get a Shadow Ball. It does not a lot of love damage towards Zepdos. And I look towards bot lane. And my Duraladon is scoring 100 points while Zepdos was dying. So, 
I wasn't very happy, but it's just normal solo queue games. Um, I know I post a lot of wins, right? So I thought maybe like, this was a pretty good trick game. I thought I, I think I showcased that Hooper was quite useful in this game and quite strong. But uh, yeah, this was a great example, guys. I don't win every game as well. Of course, I post the good games more, but the same things that happen to your guys' games happen to my games as well. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm really liking Trick Hooper. It's actually quite fun. And if you're a support guy that wants to play support or you like mages a lot, it kind of feels a bit magey as well. You can give Hooper a try. But yeah, still very insane Unite both has very strong laning phase. It's very strong in pre -mates. If you play Duo or Triple Q, one of the best characters to play right now, you can always support one of your friends who plays a carry. And yeah, very strong in Duo laning. laning. And has very good damage output as well. In this game, you can see we still managed to have the second most damage in our team. Actually, almost the highest. Only 1,000 less damage than our fun friend Draladon, uh, who sadly went for scoring over Zapdos. But I still hit like always between 50 and 80,000 damage with this build. So quite solid. Again, love auto attacks, love muscle band proccing. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate a like on the video and a sub to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.